December 13th is a day of grieving and reflection in China. It marks the beginning of the Nanjing Massacre in 1937. During a six-week period, Imperial Japanese forces occupied the city, killing some 300,000 people. 82nd anniversary commemorations are about to get underway. Hong Chong is a professor of applied mathematics at MIT and the author of the novel, Nanjing Never Cries. He explains the importance of remembering and honoring the victims. Nanjing is a human tragedy at the same level as the Jewish Holocaust in Europe, happening around the same time. But very few people know about it. Such a chapter of human tragedy paid for with hundreds of thousands of lives must be learned. History must be set straight so that can, people can avoid repeating the same mistakes and again and again. How does China want the world to remember the victims? Um, you know, we've seen memorials and events in recent years, especially with Comfort Women memorials. Talk about the, uh, the importance of, of this being talked about and shared around the world. The Japanese in those days view Chinese as an inferior race and could do whatever they wanted with such a race. That's why 30 million Chinese were killed and countless numbers of Chinese women were raped. And Nanjing massacre is a prominent example happening in the capital of China during those days. At the end, the world suffered a tremendous loss. So did Japan, which was devastated by atomic bombs. We better learn the lesson and not let such a lesson in history be wasted. And to do this, we need a day of mem national memory, which the Chinese government recently has established for us to remember such a human tragedy event. You were the author of a novel called Nanjing Never Cries. What inspired you to write it? That the American public is entirely ignorant about the real significance of the Nanjing Massacre in particular and the Sino-Japanese War in general. The historic perspective of many of the historians in America are seen through a tinted glass. And that's when I thought I would spend time to write a novel, not a documentary, but a book that can take people, the general American public, into the world of the Nanjing Massacre. It's not a documentary of numbers. It's about the people, their emotion, their thinking and how they suffer, and how they conquer their adversity with their love and caring for one another. Professor Hong Chung, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Okay, thank you.